Oh, it's heavy. Get out, move the jar. It's heavy, it's heavy. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> Beauty, man. You know what's so, happening? It's a male, right? All right, welcome back, everyone. In this video, we're gonna be doing some winter camping on the same lake we caught that lake trail in Burbit last year. This time it's me, Jesse, and we brought some friends. Um, we're going about 50, 60 feet of water at first. It's getting a little warm now, so it just came back from a big storm, so we're gonna get lucky. It's only gonna be like zero degrees, but we got a lot of gear. A lot of gear, and we don't have a snowmobile, so. We just wanna show you that this is possible without it. And uh, I'll meet you guys at the hole. Hey, can uh, hey start uh, your snowmobile? You I'll start, start yeah. it. Yeah, can you? Bam, 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 bam. Hold on, hold on. I come from a rich family. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh that's, is that it? Holy, oh, is that the 220Z? Oh, wow. The battery. Oh, he's uh, a new battery. Uh, uh, I'll try this. We have the side by side here today. Okay. Uh, start, start, it up. start it up. Yeah. My start it up. My family's rich. My family's really rich. Yeah. <laughs> As you can tell by his outfit. So I saw a guy drive golf on uh, side by side. And now I gotta carry all this. <laughs> My dad's really rich. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm grabbing these mats, little playground rubber mat, and I'm just compacting the snow. So, I don't know, we're gonna have the, the foil company, right? Yeah. So I'm compacting the snow just so it works as insulation. And when it gets really hot in here, it won't get the it won't get wet, the water won't be dripping out, so it'll stay dry in here. But we're gonna get foil coming right through here, we're gonna put the snow here, right? And then we're gonna get all that insulation, put it at the sides, maybe some at the top, and get set up, and then we can get fishing. All right, so here's our setup so far. We got the stove here. We got the cots. We're gonna put some storage in the back. And then we're gonna drill some holes here. We got the insulation. Got the light. We're good to go. All right, we got Gaetano here. He's gonna show me to set up this jaw jacker I just bought. I have no idea how to set it up. So I know that these pins here, yeah, pull them both out. They come out. And you, you set yeah, it to so like you a number. Set it to your size of rod. So you're using a light. What is this, a light? Yeah, medium, I think. One thing you have to watch: it doesn't have a long back end, so it's not gonna sit very deep in here. Yeah, see, that's the string. Yeah. So I put it in there, so I don't lose it. So I, I usually set it on the second one because that's pretty high. Okay. In. Okay. Good. Should be good. Yeah, yeah, I see. And so right now, let's just drop your line in. Yeah. And then from with this, this is how you adjust. Yeah, the tension. The tension in the. So you can make right. it sensitive. Or Mine's not, right? sensitive as. F I love. I like it sensitive. That way, any little nibble, boom, this piece here comes up, and that's what locks everything in. Right. Yeah, yeah. So. Set the line, set your line in. You oh, you could do that. Six ah. inches. Yeah. Well, let's see about there. Boom. Wow, look at that. <laughs> no way. So, so you build a there, wall of snow? I usually build a wall of snow around like this. At least it protects this part from the wind, right? Yeah, okay. And then, boom. Amazing. Sorry if you hear some wind. I'm just, uh, I have to get my cameras, but I just wanted to say that we're going to be using. Um, blue and silver, like navy blue and silver spoons, uh, all different sizes, and we're gonna be using glow jigs specifically for burbot. Uh, we'll just thread on the middles, like even sideways you could do it, and you could just stack them up and you pound bottom. We're fishing around 60 feet, I think. I was just speaking with some guys, and they said around 60, 65 feet they were catching, but the whole plan is, I think, not 100% sure, I'll show the uh, color chart, but, but after like certain depths, fish could see certain colors better. 
So I'm pretty sure navy blue is, and then silver of course is the best best colors to use when you're fishing a little bit deeper, especially at 60 feet. I think if you're fishing 60 and you're using like chartreuse, I don't think they could really see it. I think it's a little different with the light down there, but navy blue is a really, really popular color for lake trout, especially silver as well. You could even just use silver with like a minnow head. You just pound bottom, you can use a white tube we're using. Uh, we got jaw jackers, we got tip ups, set up with just some minnows, jigs, uh, white tubes. And when you use a big white tube, you can use a sneak hook on the back. Just to hang on the end of it, just so when something bites, they can be really picky. And when something bites, it grabs them. It's a bit it's hard. But we got our tent set up. You guys already saw that. You can see the stove. If you don't have a stove, uh, you could just use a couple heaters. These buddy heaters work for this ground. You need that insulation that you have, or have an insulated tent. And you gotta have those carpet mats to make a huge difference. But we're fishing a massive weather change. So what I mean by that is yesterday it was minus 20. Today it's supposed to warm up to about just below zero. Uh, all night's gonna be below zero, maybe minus one degree Celsius. And then tomorrow it's gonna be minus zero. So it's it's a great time to fish from experience. These are the best times to fish, especially in a dramatic weather change when it's a positive one. So when it's going from cold to warm, it's a lot, lot better. So if you could pickle your weekends with fishing to a positive weather change, like a big minus or a big storm, snowstorm, like yesterday was a big snowstorm all week, then you have this massive warm spell. Fish turn on, bites turn on. It's a lot easier to get on fish. They're less pickier. They're still, they might be still a little picky, especially if it's fresh, but they're less pickier from experience. And hopefully I get to show you guys in this video. That's true. It's only three o'clock, not even right now. Yeah. So, I mean, we, we set up at like 11, 12, so. We've been non-stop marking. Could yeah. be herring, could be lake trout. We don't know, but uh, we'll see. So where we are, we're in a Muskoka Lake. Um, pretty deep lake, 120 uh, to like 130 feet deep for the part that we're in. And uh, there's just a bunch of humps, a lot of humps around this lake, a lot of shoals. So we're at a, like a transi transition point just off of an island where it uh, goes to about 60 feet and then it has a couple holes, uh, shoals peeling off of it. But it's a good spot for walleye, for lake trout and for whitefish. And we're in, almost in the exact same spot that we were last year when we caught the bourbon and lake trout. So hopefully, it's actually almost the same weather. I don't know if last time was it was dramatic windy. weather change and it wasn't windy, but it is it is going to be almost in the positives. I think mm -hmm. tomorrow morning, but but lake trout like even a lot of like all fish evening bite evening bite is going to be great. Um, Burbit for sure tonight. I'm, I'm hoping that that's really why I'm here. Is when you get a night bite, it just makes the whole night more fun and and you could stay up longer and it makes it worth it. But we'll see what happens. Hey, Oh, well, drop it down fast. Drop it down now. Drop it down now. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Drop it, drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Oh, it's coming out. Pause it, pause it. Yup. Yup, fish on. You got him, you got him, you got him. Yeah, let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's out. Fight him, fight him. Don't, don't just hear him. Fight him. Oh, no, he's off. No, oh, he's off. I see him. Yeah, he's off. You see how you dropped to the bottom? You wanted that? Yeah. You see, you wanted that? That was smart being up there. There he is right there. That's him right there. He's swimming. Okay, guys. It's uh, 4 o'clock, 4.30. Marking crazy on the bottom here. It's literally like we just went over to the shoal here, and, and I guess the bite just turned on, or maybe we're in a good spot. But uh, I called Luca, and he said he's also marking fish too, so... Um, and Carlo just missed one too, so sometimes, man, she just don't catch fish all day until, uh, until the golden hour. There you go. Let's pull out the transducer here. All right, no, he's smaller than the last one. Look how oh, he's, he's that poop coming out of him, right? I got a little bit on my face. <laughs> yeah, I got a little poop on my face. No, no, no. These things. 
have pliers. They're on my keys, though. I like to prefer to keep my keys away from the water. Hey, watch out. Drop my back, baby. There you go. I mean, go down the hole. Yeah, push his head. There you go. Nice. Come here, come here. Yes! Pretty good actually. It's pretty good. Oh nice, nice. Okay, this one we're gonna put back. We're gonna put back. We'll catch ones like this all day. I don't care. Luca! Yeah. We're hammering we're Lakers. We're hammering Lakers. I'll see you. We're on the top of the shoal out here. Got one. Oh I just missed it. Yo, they're 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 catching Lakers there. Yo, go drill holes right now on the 50 foot flat right beside you guys, they should be up there. Carl just had one, he lost it. Hey, I'm not keeping any small ones, eh, Leo? Alright. I'm gonna try to keep, like, ones that are good to eat. Well, how deep you guys? We're 50 feet. We're 44 feet, actually. Yeah, we're, uh, Carl just had one on. Yeah, they're, the bite is on. Yeah, it's on. I'm marking in here, too. Yeah, minnow, minnow, salt, minnow, dude. Okay, bring it down. It's okay. falling you again. Phone you again. Okay. Oh my god. I'm just bummed me. Hold on, drop, drop, drop. Jig, why? Yeah. He's gone. Now, go up a bit. He's coming. Go up a bit. A little bit. See if he comes. He's coming with you. He's going to stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop. stop. Oh, it's heavy! Get out, move the jar. It's heavy, it's heavy. I just see, I'm looking at a guy tied, I just see this thing bobbing. I heard it, I heard it go off. Oh, that's a nice, that's nice. That's nice. Oh, whoa. Oh. Yeah, the Laker, he's a Laker. That's an ultra light. That's a bourbon, I think, eh? No, it's a Laker. Oh, it's a Laker. Good head shakes, Salu. <laughs> You see? Yeah, you're good, you're good. Want me to take it from you? No, no, you got a nice... Oh, I want to see the bend of the rod. Look at the bend on that ultralight. Oh, what is that, a light or an... Oh. Good head shakes on it. Bourbon. Oh, yeah, There he yeah. is! Oh, <laughs> that's huge! Let's go. That's huge! Let's go. That's the biggest Let's... bourbon we've caught, bro. Yeah. Big that's bourbon, That's the biggest baby. bourbon. Big bourbon. Big Let's go. When I say it's a bourbon, I'm a bourbon. There we go. Oh! This is probably my biggest bourbon. We're definitely gonna keep this guy. He's a few pounds. Nice. On nice. the jaw jacker. Nice. On the jaw jacker, jaw literally. Jaw so strikes again. Twice. Two and all on that. So let's go. So we're still fishing the evening. I don't know when when the bite's gonna turn off, but we just caught a walleye, burbot, ling, whatever, and lake trout, and like literally it's been of two hours. So we're gonna keep fishing. We're fishing this other guy's spot that was right beside us. He said he caught a couple of 18 inches. But we'll head back. I think we're gonna get a solid bourbon bite, man. And it's gonna be it's gonna be a great night. Dante, you hold this right here. Oh, oh it's it's big. That's a fight. It's big. Yeah, right there, right there. Oh! Bourbon. Oh my god. Oh he's slippery, Jess. Yeah, oh my Whoa. god! Oh my god! Wow! Monster! Monster! Here we go. Mr. Burb. You want to kiss Mr. Burb? Should I kiss Mr. Burb here? Oh, that's gross. Okay. <laughs> Close to me. The minnow. It's radio silence. Oh, Oh yeah, we could just put in some paper or whatever and now it's just coming in. Like, it's so sad. Mm. Dude, the butter in that pan, this meat just absorbed it. It's disgustingly good. Get a piece of bread.
Oh wow! Oh, let's go! Do you want a pair of like long pliers? Uh, yeah, please if you don't mind. All right, the skunk's gonna... over. The skunk's over. Yeah. Oh my god, just... <laughs> Let me uh. First morning, Jesse's on. What you got? Oh. Laker. Laker. Just a little boy. You want? Him? You got it. There you go. Just a little Laker boy. A little white tube and stinger. You got him on the stinger, eh? Oh my god, muscly. You got him on the stinger. Look at that. You have a middle on this stinger? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice little tiny Laker. He just wants to go back All in. Right, just put him back. Just wants to go back in. <clears throat> Terrible. He's trying to make little ones. Hey man, the little ones, they don't, uh, I don't, like, uh, okay. I don't like going back down, clearly. I don't like going back down. <clears throat> and I think the most fish were caught on the salted middles, so we, what you could do is you, whatever you have leftover middles, instead of dumping them or throwing them out, just layer them in salt. What salt was it? Uh, pickling salt? Pickling salt. Just layer them in pickling salt, and uh, you could even put some olive oil after. What else did we put? We put olive oil. We put like garlic seasoning, which we didn't do, but you oh, do that kind of stuff. That, yeah. You can get creative. The fish are biting them like crazy. Liquid hickory smoke. Oh, and, and, and uh, liquid smoke as well, yeah. So That was a key participant. Instead of just wasting minnows, I mean, you could use them as bait easily. But yeah, so when the bike slows down here, we're probably going to go for a little walk, go for some Lakers. We might go for some walleye too. I'm thinking we're marking walleye here. Only because what we're, we're really targeting Lakers, and we're having a lot of misses and a lot of chase-ups. And we did see some walleye here, and we also caught one, so we'll see, we'll see what happens. So, me and Jesse came to this spot to try out a new depth, a new place to catch some lake trout. As soon as I leave, Catano starts screaming massive laker, so I think they caught one, so we're going to head back and see, see how big it is. Well, sometimes you just got to stay put, I guess. Let's see what these guys are screaming about here. Oh! You guys got a laker? Let me see. Wow, that's a beautiful laker. Yeah. Look at that. Nice size. That's a beauty, man. Yeah. You know what's it's happening? It's a male, right? Yeah. That's a beautiful fish, man. Boy, big boy. So what'd you catch it on there? The jigging, the Rapala jigging wrap, the new one. Wow, the one you were talking about? Yeah. Hilarious. Yeah, that's a beautiful trout. Is he a nice fight or what? Yeah, yeah. I recorded the whole thing. Nice. Huge. Dude, like after that fish, like you can sleep tonight. Bro, I don't even care. To fish and, and. Here's my it is easier. With the it is flasher. easier for sure. It's easier, but like no fish finder, you're gonna jig the same movement constantly. You're with not gonna a fish know what finder. Like. You're gonna panic and stop. Yeah, but sometimes fish finders they. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Again, holy. Thumping you? Yeah. White too. Yeah, it's gotta be something small. No, bro, Dude. he just lost the whole rod went in the water. I, I walk wait, by the wait. tent, I see my rod go straight down the hole. I look at the graph. On the graph, a giant mark came up, smoked it. On a tube it. this big. This oh big. my god. The rod went down the hole. Jay! Yeah! I'm shaking, man. I'm shaking. That could have I could have I could have usurped the crown right there. Alright, so that's it. So the weather did really help us. Um, I think we're gonna head back now. Maybe I'm gonna get a chance to cook the bourbon. But uh, right now we're just gonna pack up. It's about 11:30, 12 o'clock. Uh, Jesse just missed and lost his uh, his rod down the hole from a big lake trout or something. But yeah, we're pretty much done for the day. We have a good haul, and I'll see you back maybe when I'm cooking some bourbon. All right, so we finally came back from our trip. Now what I'm gonna do is a very very simple bourbon recipe. As you can see, I just filleted it and packaged it nice. Uh, if you wanted to see me fillet with burbot and want to learn how, just click the link in the description. We did a video a couple years ago. I didn't bother doing it again. But uh, here's some of your fillets here. And then I also have some bacon. 
So it's the most simplest recipe. Obviously, when you wrap anything in bacon, it tastes good. But you don't worry, this fish doesn't need bacon. It just, I'm doing this because I wanted to try out a new recipe. But you could do it in a soup, in a chowder, in a sauce. You could poach it, dip it in butter like lobster. You could do so many things with this meat. So I'm going to start off by just wrapping the burbot in bacon. And literally that's it. I'm going to add a little salt, pepper, and then I'm going to throw it in a pan. I'm going to give it about five minutes on each side. Once I do that, I'll add some pesto, lay it on top, and that's it. It's maybe like a 15 minute recipe. It's easy. You could cook it at fish camp. You could cook it at home for your family. You could serve it over rice, anything you want. So I'm going to start that and I'll see you when I'm cooking. All right, so I'm not going to add any oil. I'm not going to add any butter, nothing. I'm literally just going to grab this fish, put it on a hot pan, give it a few minutes, not overcook it, flip it to the other side, and that's it. There's nothing, nothing more to it. All right, so after not even like 10 minutes, the bourbon's ready. I'm just going to add some pesto just on top. There it is, bacon wrap burbot with basil pesto, some parsley, that's it. Let's try this. All right, all right. Incredible. Anyways, I hope you guys liked that video. I know that uh, we didn't get the best, best footage. It was kind of hard because I forgot some stuff and we we're in different tents, but I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please leave a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Hope you guys like this little cook. I'm trying to do as much catch and cooks as I can. Sometimes it doesn't work out. But I really hope you guys like this video. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.